the oracle months between function. The months between function finds the number of months between two dates. It's not the only way to get this kind of result, but it's one of the best ways. The syntax of the months between function takes two values. Both values are dates. If the first date is greater than the second date, the result is positive. And if the second date is greater than the first date, the result is negative. In these examples, I've used the months between function as well as the two date function to generate some sample dates. The first example finds the difference between the 1st of June and the 7th of February. You can see the result here is 3.8. This means that there's roughly 3.8 months between those two months here. The second example here shows what happens if the first date is earlier than the second date. You can see the value is minus six. This is because the 14th of March is about six months earlier than the 20th of September. The third example here uses two dates that are very different to each other. One is in 2004 and the second is in 1981. If we run this function, we get a value of 283. This means that there's about 283 months between those two dates. The next example shows what happens if we have the same day and the same year, but different months. You can see we get a whole number of a value of four because there's four months difference between those two dates. The next example shows what happens if the two values are the same. You can see it returns a value of zero. The final example here shows what happens if we pick the last day on two separate months where the actual number of the last day is different, such as the 31st of Jan compared to the 30th of April. You can see the difference is minus three exactly. So Oracle has worked out that they're exactly three months apart. So that's how you use the months between functions.